Hey, sound is something that we can't imagine our world without. It's the first thing you hear when you wake up. Whether it's the sound of lovely birds chirping in your backyard, or it's the sound of wonderful music like I was listening to just back there. So, how is sound transmitted? Wonder how does that work? Keep watching this video. The first question that we ask is what is sound? So sound is energy that travels in the form of waves. We have two types of waves. Transverse wave and longitudinal wave. So let's see how these waves travel. Transverse wave is wave in which the particles of the medium move in the direction per perpendicular to the direction that the wave moves. For example, waves in water. So longitudinal waves are waves in which the motion of the individual particles of the medium is in direction that is parallel to the direction of energy transport. For example, sound wave. These waves travel in a different medium and with different speed. These medium could be solid, liquid, gas. The important thing to remember about wave is that they only transfer energy, not matter. Sound needs a substance to travel and it travels by particles vibrating. The particles and the solid are closer together. So the vibration are more easily passed from particle. This means that sound goes faster in the liquid sound travels slower because the distance between molecules is very small so waves take more time to travel in the liquid and the gas, the particles are relatively far apart from each other so the wave pass so slow through them these waves can't go on forever of course sound has to die out at some point after it will lose momentum from echoing back and forth between various surfaces but, before that happens, the sound will be picked up by our ears. But, as amazing as our ears at what they do, they can only pick up a limited number of frequencies from 20 Hz to 20 kHz. So just think about the endless possibilities and the huge amount of sound that are unable to hear. But that fortunately doesn't seem to stop us because as you might or might not know Beethoven was almost deaf and look at the incredible music he's created